Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Coelvation Realty. And I'm here to give you your market uh, moment, a uh, little bit of an update on what's been going on in the past month in the Toronto real estate uh, market. And, uh, and Treb has just released their um, November numbers. And they can be read in all sorts of different ways. They can be dramatic, like, you know, number of sales year over year from last year to this year uh, has dropped. Uh, but percentage-wise from, you know, October to November, which is kind of what you're really looking for, uh, those numbers have not, are not, have not dropped any more significantly than other past years. So, you know, again, it's how you look at them. Um, and really, most importantly of all, is that the prices have not uh, gone anywhere really since, you know, the, the past month. So, so we've seen a stability in the market, a little bit boring, as some of my colleagues have said. Uh, it's a little bit slower, you know, things do take sometimes longer to sell. Uh, I will say that when your property is priced well and, um, you know, and, and prepared and all that kind of stuff, like some of our clients this past month have had great success in selling, have had sold, sold for great prices and very quickly, in fact, one or two days on the market, uh, multiple offers in some cases. So it's not unheard of, it's just not all the time. And uh, certainly it's price sensitive. Uh, because as the interest rates have gone up, and they were just announced again, obviously, uh, Bank of Canada went up this week, uh, you will see that, that buying power has gone down. Buyers, it's very natural when you're looking at the graph, you know, like a buyer, as the interest rate goes up, buyers can't afford as much. So then sellers are being affected. So that same, um, you know, situation, if you're thinking about selling, buying power has gone down or is going down as the interest rates go up. So that's just why we have to be a little bit more price sensitive when we're pricing. And also um, when you're buying, it's better to buy now while you're locked into the lower rate because they just went up. So you've got that window uh, where you can afford a little bit more. Um, and then, you know, obviously nobody knows what the future holds. And uh, this is probably a pretty temporary situation. You know, the Toronto Real Estate Board is also, of course, uh, talking about immigration improving and, and increasing and that could put a lot of pressure on the prices to go up again because it really is pretty stable right now. So it's interesting. We'll see what happens. Um, Toronto is a very micro market kind of situation, neighborhood to neighborhood. So if you need individualized attention and or if you have questions or thoughts, because, you know, it's always good to move on with our lives. We can't always be held tight to these, um, you know, the market conditions uh, and, and we can let you know what sort of the best options, your best options might be. And remember when you're buying and selling in, in the same market, you get the benefit on one side or the other. So in a rising market, obviously, uh, it's great when you're selling and, and in, a, in a slower market, it's great when you're buying. But if you're buying and selling, you, you get that benefit on one side or the other. I hope I explained it properly. Uh, happy to answer any questions. Uh, our whole team is here for you. Take care.